What is up, YouTube? I don't know if anyone's going to watch this ever, but I'm making it anyways. This is my bad experience review about the Arma Outcast 4S that I bought. Brand new. Brand new. Probably three weeks ago, bought this bad boy. There she is, right there. <sighs> then I bought Hot Racing CVD shafts. Big money right there. Well, where's the other half? I'll show you the other half of it. Well, part of the other half. Right there. Right there. That, that's about 35 bucks right there. And then 35 bucks a wheel, pretty much. Okay, so $140, it was $129 before taxes and shipping. That ended up to be $140. Um, I replaced those because the stock Arma CVD shafts, they didn't last four minutes, which um, I watched a couple big time YouTubers. They did their reviews on Arma must have gave them the trucks or something. They said that they're great, the greatest thing ever. Um, yeah, no, like I said, they didn't even last one battery. I broke three of them, three of them on that truck before I decided to replace them. Cause they just, they, they popped off the U-joint, so I kept on popping them back on. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just so irritated right now. I got between, without the batteries, I have over $550 into this thing right now, which is, the price of a 6S Arma Outcast. Damn, I wish I would have bought one, but they weren't available. So I I settled. I settled for this thing. Don't settle for it. Um, And definitely do not buy the Hot Racing CVD shafts for the Arma Outcast 4S or the Creighton 4S. Because they're junk. They're cast aluminum junk. $140. Bam. <laughs> just, just believe me. Um, uh, yeah, so Arma. Arma tough, huh? This is my first Arma truck. I, uh, uh, I'm not impressed. It, it had the speed. It had the power. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, yeah. Um... But Arma tough? No. Arma's not tough. Not that, not what I've seen so far. Uh, I don't know. I got... This isn't my first truck either. Um, I have tracks a Slash 4x4 VXL, which is my baby. That thing, I put that thing through so much abuse, it's ridiculous. Which, it's not stock. I put... Um, aluminum shocks on it, and then the Traxxas, the Traxxas heavy duty CBD shafts, which were like 80 bucks. Way better than the $140 junk that Hot Racing makes. They're, they're actually made out of steel. Um, here, here it is right here. Look, look at that thing. It's got J Concepts wheels on it, which I love, love the wheels. Um, only thing that thing goes through is bodies. I go through bodies like crazy. I'm on like my fifth one right now. I'm, I'm, I don't baby the things at all. I, I'll crash into shit. I don't care. Um, not on purpose, but it, it happens. Sometimes a tree gets in the way. Or, or a rock. You'll hit a tree stump that's like in the grass. Um, but back to the armor. Yeah, the, another thing, a lot of reviews on YouTube say that it's very easy to work on. Pfft, no, 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 no. You got to know your stuff to work on this thing. Right out of the box, slipper clutch had to be adjusted. 
it like um it wouldn't when i hit the gas it wouldn't go anywhere no bottom end torque or, or nothing um the only honest thing i've seen about it is they say that the receivers are junk i've i've always dealt with stock receivers never never went and bought a receiver but this thing was terrible i actually switched it to a traxxas receiver way to go because i have other trucks lying around so yeah i did that um but uh steering servo that was okay man yeah, everyone said that it's terrible but uh that was fine um the motor plenty of power yeah like when when and when i was running it did go but uh, yeah i'm aggravated hot racing boo boo that's all I'm saying. Um, terrible customer service. I emailed them days ago. Days. I got like a spam reply back. That was it. It was like an automated reply that auto they sent. It replies on like within 30 seconds you got an email back from them. Yeah. Haven't heard a thing from them yet though. Um... Oh, well, I'm way more disappointed in them than Arma right now because I, I expected the plastic shafts to break which but the thing was everyone on YouTube lied about it that's the thing like dude freaking how are plastic shafts gonna hold up to 4s power even 3s power dude they didn't hold up to my 3s on my slash I mean come on Ugh. I don't know Send me a 6S Outcast. I, I'll give you the review on that thing, but yeah. Oh, does everyone do yourselves a favor? Don't buy the 4S, and definitely don't buy anything out racing, especially the CVD shafts. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all I got. Let's see that broken thing one more time. Let's see this bad boy. Can't even use it right now. Can't even use it. I just want to cook the thing. Oh. 